Hi guys, this is Edno, and we are back playing House of Iron 4. This time around, since 1.2 patch okay, just came out, we are going to play a long promise uh, campaign as Soviet Union. And before we continue, a uh, small announcement for those like me who are still annoyed by the audio quality of this channel. Uh, I just finally uh, got around to um, purchasing all the uh, accessories you need. Uh, shark mount, scissor arm, uh, pop filters and such and uh, for my blue yeti which is a pain in the ass apparently no shark mount works for blue yeti um, maybe four out of hundreds uh, so I should get them within a week or so uh, since I had to uh, get them abroad uh, but basically a bottom point uh, bottom line is that uh, the audio quality on this channel should reach a professional level uh, by the end of the month, so uh, there is that. Now, to the game. Mm, the main feature of 1.2 are of course those uh, difficulty sliders that may... Uh, uh, and the purpose is to uh, well help with the fact that AI is still pretty damn bad. So we are of course uh, going to play on veteran and bump all of our enemies to the max. Uh, uh, let's uh, let's see what we have here. So entrenchment and planning speed plus fifty percent, supply consumption uh, cut in half, division recovery rate uh, by twenty by thirty percent. How uh, how fast they they recover organization? So it, it's actually pretty uh, pretty uh, powerful thing. Uh, reinforcement right? That's not uh, plus four percent to the reinforcement rate making in. It's 104, but it's a f additional 4% of the vision will be reinforced at this, uh, by the time. It's it basically, if I remember correctly, triples the or so the speed of, of reinforcement. Um, what else? Uh, another fairly powerful thing is division attack and defense plus 30% on core territory. So actually, invading someone. And that is boosted will be a pain in the ass. Um, on top of that, we have production cap and uh, speed of efficiency growth uh, plus 30 percent. So, uh, uh, to put it into perspective, uh, at the beginning of the game, you start with 35 percent uh, efficiency cap, so that pretty much doubles it. Political power gain plus 50 percent, research time minus 20 percent, uh, and uh, various experience gains. So as you can see, pretty powerful things. I've run a few uh, simulations and uh, what I've seen basically by the time Barbar uh, of Barbarossa, uh, German Reich and Japan usually have around 1000 divisions, uh, including 200 Panzer ones. Uh, and if I recall correctly how a Soviet play on veteran would have around 300, so that should be very interesting. Uh, we are of course not going to boost ourselves, we are not going to boost France because, well, it's, there is no purpose really. We are, however, going to boost both United Kingdom and USA. Uh, based off, uh, on my uh, tests, they, need, they never really got around to doing anything until 1945 or so, uh, and what that means uh, the, before they uh, actually hurt Germany in, in any way, will be either dead or, or victorious. So, and uh, boosting them up like that uh, pretty much allows us uh, allows uh, us to have a end game boss with uh, uh, because by 1945 both of them are approaching a thousand division each. And USA has a handful of nukes, so that that should be interesting on its own, its own, its own right. Uh, Japan will max. Um, China, however, uh, once again in my test, uh, even if China is boosted to the max, uh, Japan eventually wins the war, but it drags very heavily, pretty much like in the uh, in history where the the war dragged on and on, and Japan never won it. By but but we actually want a powerful China with around 400 divisions to throw at us, um, but we don't also not want this war to last like a month because that skews uh, world tension things. So we'll leave it 
and half. So China should still be able to, uh, Japan, I'm sorry, should still be able to conquer uh, China, British Raj and uh, everything by 1941, uh, no problem. And then they will have a, a very powerful enemy uh, attacking him, um, for us from here and possibly from here if we decide to go for Iran. But well, that's a topic for another thing. And of course, uh, on top of all the bonuses AI gets, we are getting uh, standard veteran penalties. Minus 20 efficiency, plus 10% research time and uh, lower political power gain. We'll play iron mode because I never, I only once had any problems with it, so I assume it will work just fine and I would probably forget to uh, uh, to save by now. Uh, we won't be able to get achievements because we are using a custom difficulty. As you can see. Let's get it going. That is going to be Iron Man Soviet Union. Um, open 2. Uh, let's, let's go for a cloud. Alright. Uh, let's uh, look what do we have here. Ah, um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we are of course going to uh, play this as a world conquest. Uh, I, I mentioned that we'll be going up the United States and UK, but yeah, that's that's what we are going to do. And we are going to use a brand new uh, focus branch here, permanent uh, revolution, and do it as Trotsky. We are not going to perform a great purge. Uh, we'll have a civil war and uh, we'll allow Trotsky to take power, which is uh, suitable because uh, Trotsky was much more of an expansionist uh, than, than, than Stalin. Uh, Stalin was pretty content in uh, with one state communist, while Trotsky was all about uh, bringing the communist to uh, all the places in the world. It's a little known fact that he uh, pretty much condoned uh, cheerfully the invasions on uh, Finland and Poland to uh, the shock of uh, Western Trotskyists uh, at the time. So uh, he usually gets the pass for not being a, a savage brute. Uh, the uh, Stalin was, but he wasn't a cuddly bear as some may think. Okay, but uh, first let's uh, look through the uh, things that we have. We have a uh, Trotskyite plot uh, for now, which lowers our national unity for a time being, but that of course will disappear when the whole thing uh, resolves. And we have a home of the revolution, so that is basically a debuff. And that uh, costs us a construction speed. As far as research goes, uh, we have a basic stuff. Uh, uh, here as well as paratroopers, so this is this is a fairly decent. Uh, we may use some paratroopers just for the. Uh, I never really done that, so that should be an interesting thing. And uh, in this game, I'm pretty sure we we get to use mechanized uh, infantry since it will take a while. Let me. Uh, here we have uh, both engineers and recon. Sadly, uh, no field hospitals or logistics companies uh, will go for, at least for one of those for logistics, we'll see about uh, field hospitals, we are Soviets after all, so. And tanks, uh, could have been better, uh, we will really need a BT-7, and we'll need to research it fairly quickly, not only because, well, we'll need tanks to, to fight those 100 uh, panzer divisions, uh, Hundred and uh, uh, to to put it all in perspective, uh, during the invasion of Poland uh, and France, uh, Germany had eight Panzer divisions, and with all the sliders maxed uh, in the free test games I I've run, they had over a hundred by then. So <laughs> that should be uh, interesting. Uh, we'll go for medium tanks because we will need some some serious firepower. Uh, to fight them. Uh, we'll also need anti-tank in our uh, infantry divisions. As far as land, do land doctrines, uh, we'll stick to two mass assaults, uh, because we uh, we haven't used it, that one yet in uh, in our playthroughs. Um, and I think we'll go for this branch, but we'll 
Uh, we'll discuss that later when, when the time comes. Naval will need, of course, Navy to deal with both uh, US and UK, but we cannot afford it. Right now, same here. Let's start with um, research fighters, though, which is uh, very good because uh, winning an air war will be a near impossibility. At the same time, uh, uh, pretty much a life and death situation. Uh, because with uh, enemy air superiority, our line will, will probably collapse, so we somehow need to pull that one off. And starting with a fighter is a, is a good start. Uh, I wish we had some some closer support, but uh, we'll see. Um, we uh, one of our issues is of course a lack of research slot. Which we'll talk about that later. Here we'll probably go with battlefield support actually, since. Uh, we will be all about winning the war on land, and yeah, uh, it's it will be difficult uh, as it is. So we have, with all the bonuses, AI uh, enjoys nothing interesting here and nothing interesting here. Now, speaking of those free research slots, uh, we are the worst uh, major nation in terms of research by by a long shot because. Um, Take a look here. First of our research slot can be uh, uh, reached here, which is pretty easy. Uh, as a fifth thing, starting constitution, collective propaganda, uh, five-year plan, armament record, and then extra research slot. Or here, uh, two, uh, two more, basically, because you want to take those first and then go with those, I'd say. Uh, so. Uh, this is uh, these are the days because they are explosive as you can see. Uh, but the second one, uh, fifth one, is a massive pain in the ass because it's here, and so we need to either perform a great purge or uh, have a coup and uh, uh, and a war, and we need to uh, do a lessons of war. Uh, that means we need to be at war after the purge or after our civil war ends. Which so we would probably not get that by the 1942 or so. Mm. What else? Uh, let's uh, let's actually start with that. We can uh, we will start with stun constitution uh, because we will need that political power to go to some a handful of early wars. Speaking of wars. Uh, we will need the resources. It may sound weird, but uh, the Soviet Union, we have plenty of those, but we actually don't have uh, nearly enough aluminium for our needs, uh, nearly enough oil, and nearly enough tungsten, especially for those tanks, uh, medium tanks and all the anti-tank weapons and such that we need to produce. So, um, we could go for Romania, which is the uh, most, uh, you know, most profitable option with uh, a lot of civilian uh, factories and uh, 70 uh, where is it here and 70 oil but that would skew the whole barbarous thing uh, uh, the front line would be weird and I don't know that so, so we are uh, not going to go for Romania another two options are either uh, go to the Middle East and after Iran and uh, get some oil here or uh, strike at Scandinavia, and this is the one I I decided, and we will try to uh, basically go for a free wars here, uh, for war against Finland, uh, Sweden, and Norway, and we of course want to uh, do it before uh, allies can uh, can act. So that will uh, shorten our front because there won't be a Fairly easy to defend, but still uh, finish from here, and we'll get uh, quite a lot of tanks then, and uh, some much needed aluminium. Actually, I thought there. Oh yes, there's another 22 here, so around 30, 34 aluminium. Not bad at all. And uh, but tungsten, tungsten is uh, almost 100 tungsten uh, will will help us and. Uh, well, the, uh, this whole thing will be, well, of course, it gets quite a lot of civilian factories that we are uh, in need of. Uh, that will, however, cost us 
150 political power. Speaking of political power, uh, laws and government. Uh, we have pretty shit political advisors to be, uh, to be honest. We only have a civilian factory guy, no military factory one. We do not have, uh, what was his uh, political warhorse, I think? The one that uh, increases the political power gain. We don't have that one. Uh, so, basically, I guess Prince of Terror at some point, and maybe Kalinin if we are in a really a shitty situation. So, actually, he seems to be purged by both. Uh, oh, he will be purged by Trotsky, so no Kalinin for us. So no, nothing interesting here. Uh, Theorist. Uh, we will probably go with uh, Tuchachevsky uh, for mass assault doctrine, and well, that's a, that's about it. Uh, military staff, we will we have quite a few decent ones. Uh, so their division speed or division attack, uh, those are less important. And as far as military high commands, it's nothing to write home about. Really, uh, th there is uh, Rokosovsky, of course, but we'll use him since we are going for uh, positive heroism. Uh, but uh, yeah, I would, uh, in a Soviet situation, I would go for infantry bonuses uh, over that anyway. And the rest are pretty underwhelming. So, so what that also means is that we are not in a huge hurry to spend our political power here. We of course will want some of the uh, designers, uh, but I'm, I think we will need to live without some of those uh, for the time being. Uh, we have only three reset slots. Uh, for that reason, we'll need to, uh, for now, uh, postpone. Uh, mass assault uh, research uh, as well as uh, our uh, our armor research and we'll just go with uh, industry construction and electronic mechanical engineering not sure about the construction but uh, I don't want to go for tanks just yet uh, since we should be able to get the uh, the company for them, and that's that's one. And uh, second, uh, and I also don't want to go for a longer research that is uh, uh, that is 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 a land doctrine, of course. Oh, sorry. Uh, now, uh, what we want to construct. Uh, we are missing. We don't have any rubber. Uh, we are. We don't want to get any strategic bombers. I'm not. Uh, I don't believe in them really. But uh, we'll leave those motorized uh, thing done, and we will invest some uh, into uh, into the fighters. Uh, how many? We have 34, so frankly, we could uh, buy two batches of rubber and uh, start uh, chugging out those uh, those fighters, probably a good, uh, good thing to do. Uh, only problem is that we will lose 20% of everything the moment uh, our civil war starts. So this is what it is, but so we are going to do it anyway. Uh, now, why is the rubber, please? Well, we can get it from United Kingdom. As for the rest, uh, if you look here, we uh, we don't really have artillery to begin with, Our uh, and we'll need a lot of it, and uh, we are in a red uh, with infantry equipment, so those are the other things we need to focus on. Uh, separate equipment, the third one, so Besides that, that will will leave as it is for now. We'll cancel the uh, the shitty tanks for the time being, and uh, and I could uh, not get support equipment at the time uh, for the time being. But uh, as we, I mentioned, we have uh, 
limited amount of aluminium at the moment, so I want to uh, to st start using it because later it will become a problem, and rest will go into infantry equipment. Uh, you know what? We'll throw a few more since uh, I will use the production efficiency, and the ones we'll produce will go into infantry equipment for the time being, and then tow the artillery. That's a good start for the time being. We don't need to go uh, to as much of a detail as we w uh, we went into with our uh, French campaign. Uh, and here. We are uh, at civilian economy, so our construction is minus 30%. Uh, I'm actually tempted to, to, to build a handful of civilian factories though. Uh, first of all, we don't have that many. We have only 42. And we will want to have around... Uh, we all want to... We'll need a lot of them basically. So uh, we'll get some in Scandinavia, but uh, I don't want to... Uh, do a lot of production before the civil war uh, anyway, so I think we can uh, afford building a few civilian factories for the time being. I think we'll just build uh, just build three and the rest is just uh, civilian factory, uh, military factory construction. Uh, we don't want to do that uh, Around uh, around Stalingrad because this uh, thing will rebel and break our constructions, and so we don't want to do it uh, in our European part because that may become uh, a Soviet Union, a uh, German Reich territory, if things go poorly. So let's throw some back then, and uh, that's about it. Mm, dockyards. For the time being, I think we'll just uh, stick to the convoys. Yeah, you guys can finish those. Here we go. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, right, we need to move our navy. Uh, from the uh, Japanese borders to, to Leningrad. Pretty sure you guys can go here. Uh, here we go. Uh, is that all? I think so. Uh, sadly, we can't move our Baltic fleet anywhere. Uh, Black Sea fleet, I'm, I'm sorry, because this strait is, is, broke, is blocked for us. Which is a pain in the ass, but well. Here we are. For that reason, uh, we want to make sure that uh, those things will reinforce Baltic fleet rather than, uh, you know, uh, Black Sea one. Uh, we will need to perform some naval invasion against Sweden, I think, because uh, attacking from the north uh, is bound to be a pain in the ass. Uh, Air, uh, Air Force. We just uh, do the uh, standard thing, get rid of it for the time being. We'll still lose 20% of it, uh, no matter if it's in our hangars on uh, our deployed, so uh, I, I checked. <laughs> so it doesn't matter in that regard, but mm, it is. And I think we, we have a time to unpause now and wait for uh, Stalin Constitution to finish. Let's go to four and uh, talk about our army. We'll group it for the time being into one big, one big club. We have around seventy uh, divisions, uh, seventy infantry divisions, now ninety infantry divisions, uh, twenty useless uh, cavalry ones, and. And 20 useless cavalry ones, and uh, I think 12 or 11 uh, panzer divisions, but not all of them are 
very good. We have a very decent generals though. Uh, we'll start with Tymachevsky as uh, offensive do doctrine and most of our infantry will be under him. Should get uh, most of the uh, trades possible as well as level 7 or 8 in no time. Um, while having under, you know, over 200 divisions under him. Uh, so that, sh uh, that should be fairly helpful. Smaller arm uh, armies, of course, will be operated by, by generals, and more specialized ones, that is. Speaking of our armies, uh, those are pre pretty bare bones, as you can see, only with several out there. And uh, those are too big, but well, at least they have engineers. Uh, we have a single uh, Motostrelpy division, <laughs> which is kind of pointless, but uh, it's there. Some other divisions are well, about the size you want them. Well, of course, the uh, best option for um, uh, you know, occupation of forces are one cavalry brigade per division, but I. I just can't be bothered to, to, to micro it also. I leave it as this. Uh, those are rules. Uh, we'll need to get rid of those since military all this is, is outright pointless, but let's leave it as it is for now. And our panzer divisions are actually pretty than decent. Uh, we'll just replace some of those light tanks with, uh, motor, uh, with light artillery and we are good to go. Light tank out there is a self propelled, I mean, and we are good to go. Uh, so, so this is a very nice, this is very nice. Uh, well, <laughs> DDD, it could have been better. Yes, I know, I'm not producing any light tanks. Uh, speed 5. Now they also implemented, uh, as you will see in a sec, uh, progress bar here uh, of a sort. That it is of Rhineland, Stone Constitution. As it, you can see, it finally shows how many days you have saved here. Second one. Uh, Right, uh, positive heroism versus collectivist propaganda. We are going to go with uh, positive heroism. Uh, first of all, few people go for it, so that's a nice uh, change. Uh, and you get, uh, but basically what I want is uh, research time, better research time, and uh, social science with 3% uh, population, because, uh, believe it or not, but we will need that, that population <laughs> sooner rather than later. And, uh, the other version uh, uh, gives us more political power here and here, another 240, which is a significant amount, but, and, and additional national unity, but hopefully we won't have to use all that national unity we have. Uh, we get 2.5% uh, less reputable population compared to social science, and we do not Gets progress card by it, uh, by the construction speed. But, yeah. uh, the biggest problem here is, of course, the fact that our research slot is two slots slower, uh, assuming we want uh, to, to, to get those first. And uh, as far as the, the other things, we get uh, one research bonus for light aircraft with an aviation cult, which, which is actually very really nice. And kamikaze strikes, uh, which may actually come in handy if we, uh, well, uh, once we will be facing some uh, uh, navies of uh, UK and US. Uh, here, first, uh, some useless infrastructure and uh, basically six, um, six rubber for us, which is nothing to write home about. So we'll. Uh, Oh, and we'll go, we'll get, uh, Rokosovsky, which is, uh, best guy for our, mil uh, military high command. We'll also get Zhukov, but Zhukov, Zhukov gets, uh, purged by Trotsky, so we won't get, uh, we won't be able to use him anyway. Now, uh, not sure if we should, uh, 
Hmm. As you can see, this is what, uh, four civilian and uh, four military factories early on, but that means 140 days uh, faster reset slot here. I think we'll actually go with this one, because uh, between those two, uh, which is production and uh, research, we are actually in a uh, bigger, bigger hole research-wise, so here we are. Is the verizon is uh, and we can modify government we are not going to do so though we are going to start justifying war goals against uh, uh that will take a bloody while will it <laughs> against both uh sweden uh well all the scandinavian nations basically oh well, might as well start uh That's what, what was it? A uh, hundred, uh, two hundred and sixty-five. Here is forty. So we'll wait, and for Norway is also forty, right? So we'll wait fifteen days till the thirtieth uh, of March. Here we go. Uh, have I failed that? I have failed that, haven't I? 40, and this is... Uh, yeah, of course, I, need, I, should, I needed to wait another 10 bloody days. Okay, let's wait 5. What we want is to declare those wars at the same time. Uh, well, doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just a 10 day, di 10 day difference, so we should be able to... Do that. The uh, thing is that it only lasts, uh, what, two months. So. Hmm, they want to move our troops here already. Uh, the question is why aren't they there? Pretty sure they are all assigned here. No, never mind, actually. Apparently, only four divisions were assigned here. Uh, I don't think we'll be able to. Oh, eh. Uh, just a small announcement, it seems that uh, the AI part that was responsible for fixing, uh, for making sure that your units won't end up in, uh, don't end up in attrition uh, due to lack of supplies, uh, unless you force them to go, it's not working anymore, so, uh, well, uh, if you are not being careful, you will end up with, uh, um, uh, with a serious attrition, so th that's one of the problems with this. Uh, you will see that in a second once I move all those uh, units there pointlessly. Uh, the thing is, we finished our research here and we'll go for uh, another one outright. I'm trying to work on that uh, research. We are out of time though, uh, so well, we haven't done much uh, this uh, here, but I wanted to, to explain the basics and uh, what, what our plan is. Uh, since this is the first uh, part of the series, uh, make sure that uh, you leave that like button, that helps uh, people find it. And uh, there should be a few more episodes today or and tomorrow, actually, so enjoy that. And in the meantime, make sure that if you are a new, uh, new visitor on my channel, make sure to check other uh, playthroughs I, I do. Uh, one of which is a uh, very liked uh, French uh, veteran playthrough for Big and Tant achievement. Uh, link to the playlist is, as always, uh, of this one is, as always, in the description. So is uh, the link to all the mods that I'm using, if you're interested. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember that about that like button. Uh, if you're interested in more of the things, subscribe. And see you next time.